Hello, you will be introduced to the topic browning reactions in food. Browning is a process of food turning brown due to the chemical reactions that take place within. They can be categorized into two, enzymatic and non-enzymatic browning. Enzymatic browning results due to the action of enzymes seen in ripe, cut and injured fruits. The enzyme, otherwise intact within the tissue, comes in contact with the phenol oxidases which triggers the reaction towards enzymatic browning. The intact enzymes are responsible for ripening, overripening and decay of fruits in the normal course of time. The cut fruits in the presence of oxygen and polyphenol oxidase convert into orthophenol, further on orthoquinones and finally melanin which is brown discoloration. The rate of enzymatic browning is reflected by the amount of active polyphenol oxidases present in the food. Examples of browning include beneficial enzymatic browning which is seen as developed color and flavor in coffee, cocoa beans, tea and dried fruits like figs and raisins. Non-desirable enzymatic browning is seen as brown spots on the peel of bananas and other fruits and vegetables. Prevention or delay of enzymatic browning can be obtained by lowering the pH, blanching of foods to denature enzymes, using antioxidant, preventing contact with oxygen, storage in low temperature. Now non-enzymatic browning. It is a chemical reaction without the action of enzymes. Other types of non-enzymatic browning are caramelization in sugars, Maillard reaction in milk or meats and dextrinization. Caramelization is a non-enzymatic browning that results as effect of heat on dry or concentrated sugar solutions. The character of sugar also changes to bitter, brown and less soluble. Maillard reaction is browning of milk or meat and in sometimes cereals too. When exposed to high temperatures for a prolonged period of time. It is a chemical reaction that takes place between the amine group of a free amino acid and the carbonyl group of a reducing sugar, usually with the addition of heat. The sugar interacts with the amino acid producing a variety of odors and flavors. Dextrinization is browning of cereals as a result of dry heat method. Hope the concept Browning reaction is understood and hope enzymatic and non-enzymatic reactions are clear. Thank you.